So we got some interesting information today at the Star Citizen Live. Let's go through and see what we've got. First point of it was they asked how many distribution centers we're going to see once 3.21 hit. Um, as of right now, they are saying that we'll have 13 just on the planets, but they are considering putting some on the moons in the future, but it's initially going to be only on my, uh, Microtech and Hurston. They are, of course, very large buildings, and you can do all kinds of missions, but they wouldn't possibly even be in the same distribution center itself. Um, as far as abandoned or derelict DCs, they don't have any planned at the moment, but it doesn't mean that it's not something they might not look into in the future. Um, roads currently aren't planned, but it would be kind of cool they said to have them. So it might even be end up something that possibly could be players using as racetracks at some point. So that would be kind of cool. And there was a question about if players could own uh, any of the DCs in the future. So that, that is something they're thinking about. It. It's only theory crafting right now. But it would be kind of cool. Uh, of course, you might get specialized gray cat amenities or have goods and stuff that you could get and sell. Uh, of course, they are going to be completely different than the current underground bunkers. Very different gameplay opportunities in it. And then we go to the, some of the raids. Um, they want the raids to be in-game, kind of wanting to get some loot, things like that to come in. But of course, this isn't something that's going to be in 3.23. Uh, probably not even in 2024, but like I said, they are developing some MMO type stuff get some loot, get some high-powered bosses. Kind of makes you wonder if there might be something along the lines of dungeons that might come out. I know I've played a lot of Warcraft throughout the years. There's a lot of dungeons and stuff in that as well. So it would be kind of cool to have that if, if it's something that is a possibility. And then we get to the big question. The PvE and PvP meeting in the same place. Um... Uh, they say the distribution centers are varied. Some will be very welcoming places. Some won't be. Some are going to have security with extremely well fortified missiles, turrets, and guards. Um, I know they mentioned some of like the rest areas or rest stops having some very high security and stuff on it. So hopefully they'll have very good, if not parts of it that is possibly a armistice zone uh, that that at least has security that'll kind of help because like, I don't do a lot of PvP but playing games like Rust and things like that I can understand where a lot of players are very skeptical of what might happen with this as well so we definitely want to like keep an eye out for that as far as next week there's not going to be any Star Citizen Live because apparently the devs are going to be watching Dune 2 but with the Idris event that's ongoing uh, next week's Inside Star Citizen will be going over the Idris. Of course, patch uh, 323.1 has now went live. Uh, okay, lost my train of thought. Of course, patch 3.22.1 is now live on the uh, PU. A um, lot of different things going on, updated mining, item descriptions on some stuff, a mild push, impulse force, uh, some grab lev balance updates, which I did do some of the grab lev races. They could probably use it. Uh, we do have updated acceleration restrictions uh, to the grab lev, as well as a full balance pass. There's some distortion temporary changes on it, where they have effectively removed the item power or removed the uh, damage from everything except power plants and dashboards. Um, they're saying it is temporary, but depending on what happens, that may or may not not be something that might possibly stay. I mean, if it's a distortion weapon taking out power plant mainly, then switching over to ballistics to damage everything. Of course, you'd still want it to work with the shields, taking those down some as well. Uh, there are quite a few bug fixes. Uh... But overall, uh, what little I have played in 322.1 so far has not been too bad. I uh, did a little bit of the Arena Commander stuff, still messing around with the Master Modes, getting used to that. But we'll see what comes up in the future and see what happens.